from Boru Mastery. Awesome to have you here. Are you looking for waltz basic dance steps as a solo dancer? This is for you, for the man and lady, just to get the idea of the really rudimentary steps that matter to you when you are learning to do the waltz. Now this is not the actual waltz routines. I have other videos on our channel for you to peruse and to use that will give you multitudes of ideas if you are more skilled at waltz or you want some more ideas of what to do with this combination. So we're gonna focus on the basic box waltz today to help you understand how to turn to the right and to the left. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel, like and share this with your friends. I really love bringing these sorts of videos to you. So leave a comment, let me know what you need more help with and other dances that matter to you. Let's get into the video. All right, so have you waltzed before? It's a really fun dance, it's very, very popular. It's one of the oldest dances that stems uh, from our technique of ballroom dancing, from the Viennese waltz, one of the earliest dances that has been around uh, to this day that we still do and still very popular. So this is the slow waltz. We're gonna use the box as this simple way to understand how to use your feet. If you're more advanced and you're already a skilled dancer, this is a wonderful exercise as a professional in our career, we always use things like this to improve our dancing. And the reason for that is we could improve our swing, our flight, our driving actions, our postural principles, our hold, all of the mechanics of ballroom dancing could be enhanced through these simple movements without complicated choreography. So please don't be confused. This may be basic, but it is not easy, all right? It's not easy to master. But there's a few things to think about. So here's what you're gonna do to begin with. Let me just show it to you then if you're still with me, I'm going to break down exactly what to, to do in terms of footwork, technique, and what to understand about how to make this work for you. So the first things first is understanding uh, our box itself. So I will dance a box to the left and to, uh, using my left foot and my right foot, okay? So let me show you this is for the man and lady. Right, so I'll start off at the beginning with my left foot. Just watch it first. One, two, three, four, five, six, okay? Now we're gonna take that box and we're going to turn it. One, two, three, four, five, six, right? I can keep going through this and do as much turn or as little turn as I like. So that's our box uh, going to our reverse or our left. We can also do the box going to the right, all right? So essentially that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna to be using our technique to understand how to do this. And then I'm gonna give you some music that you can use at the end of this video or a couple of minutes of just the waltz that you can practice this again and again and again. This will help you to understand the foundations of what most people don't understand. Technique gives you freedom in dancing. Oh my God, what an idea. Knowing how to use your feet could actually help you. What? That's crazy, right? But why the benefits of solo dancing? Well, it's very simple. If you're a good solo dancer, you'll be an amazing partner. There I said it. It is not your partner's fault. It is yours if you suck at dancing. Wonderful. So did I, right? In fact, still improving every day. This is how we do it. We work on steps like this solo, so when we're with a partner, we can focus on other things. I wanna give you one idea to understand. We're looking at footwork to start with. When it comes to partner dancing, that needs to be automatic. So when you're with a partner, you can focus on, ready for it, leading and following. Very difficult skill to actually implement, but we can't be thinking of our feet when someone's attached to us, okay? And that's a big mistake many, many dancers make. Now, if we think about this box, the first thing to get right at the beginning of all of this is just knowing how to go forward, sideways, backwards and sideways, that's it. If you can do this properly with your feet closed, you can turn. Because when we add turn, we complicate movement. And when we add spins and rotation and pivots, we make movement very, very difficult. Before we begin, I want you to think about your feet. So can you stand with your feet together, okay? Your feet are in the middle. Everything in ballroom dancing stems from this center. So if I say forward, it means forward. If I say sideways, it means sideways relative to my foot, not my eyes, not my, my licking and putting my finger in the wind, not my partner, not the room. The room is irrelevant in this case. It's about my feet. So when my feet are together and you hear me say forward, you have to realize that that is actually side and forward. If I go there, that is diagonal. You can imagine the problems that'll happen together. So if I go there sideways is because of this foot. That is what I know as my orientation. This is why you must focus on footwork and your feet closing neatly. So if you, again, you look at my feet, this is the center of my cross. And because of that, my feet are flat, my 
toes and my heels are totally lined up. And every time I close my feet on the count of three, that's what must occur as the man and the lady, regardless of the turn I've made. Okay, so that's your sort of navigation point in all of this is how you know you're doing it correctly. Your feet are tight, totally even, not open, right? Not, not this way, right? Not heels and toes, not slightly apart, even a nanometer, right? You tight, 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 tight. Okay, but still relaxed. Okay, so let's do this basic pattern together, yeah? So if our feet are closed and we know to go forward and sideways, then the next thing to understand is footwork. So. Before we get into footwork, you're just going to do the basic pattern in a box. Here we go. So with the left foot first, forward, with the right foot to the side, I close my left foot to my right foot, and then I change feet. Now my right foot goes back, then my left foot goes to the side, and then I close my right foot to my left foot. And I'm back to where I began. That is the pattern. Get the pattern, and then let's put the footwork in, okay? Because that is the first bit of technique to master. So we go forward, side, close, back, side, together. That's, that's the starting point, complicated, right? Can you do that? Did you change feet? Aha, that is where most people fall down when we teach this in our classes, right? We find people aren't able to get what we call the weight change and then they end up popping their knees. So we know our feet are together, we know we're gonna go forward and sideways, and we know the pattern is literally a box, but here's where people meet shipwreck. It's in the footwork. So straight off the bat, your good habit is this. You go forward on the left foot, heel, toe. You go to the side on the right foot on your toes. Now this is important. Your weight is up, as in you are, you are standing on both toes at this point. Your left foot closes to your right foot and you close completely together and then you lower your left foot only. Notice my right heel is still off the floor. All right, it's not up like this, but it's off the floor. And that's my weight change, done. I'd never have to think again about what foot to use. Now, I go back on the right foot, toe. See that? Toe, straight back. And then I lower and I put the heel down and I step to the side on the toe. Please note that heel will not lower. Then I go up, close both feet perfectly together, lower the right heel only. Perfect footwork, I'm straight back to where I began. My left foot's ready again. So this is what we call a weight change or a foot change. And it is the secret to good ballroom dancing. And I'm serious. Think about it like this. Most people go, oh, what foot do I use? Ah, that means you don't understand that weight change. If you understand how to weight change properly, you never have to think about what foot to use. And then you focus on direction. Are you turning? Are you pivoting? Or what are you actually doing with your feet? Where are they going, right? So it is the first skill, if you're first learning to dance, to get right. And it's something that even if top dancers come to me, we use this as the basis to improve movement, okay? Because right now we haven't discussed how to really move this. Okay, so what have we done so far? We have the pattern, it's a box, woo! We start with the left foot, and then we go forward side, back side. And with that, we're going heel, toe, 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 heel, toe, heel, toe, toe, heel. Now, once you get that pattern, we'll do it together in a minute, then we know, well, because of that pattern, we can turn it. Right, and that turning part of it's where the difficulty starts to arise. As I said with this cross, going forward and backwards is just the beginning. We also need to know how to turn movement, all right? And that's where things can get a bit more tricky. So let's do this together once through, count to three. Can you count to three? If you can count to three, you can dance. Okay, so here we go, ready? And one, two, three, one, two, three. All right, so we lower at the end of three. Now, how are your toes and calves feeling? Are they burning? They better be. Now we only did one. Now, okay, we've done that on the left foot. Let's now do it on the right foot, okay? So now we'll start with the right foot going forward for the man and the lady. Okay, so right foot forward. This time, same footwork, same timing. So we go one, two, three, one, two, three, All right? Now, at the end of that, what do we do? We then step forward again on the heel. So notice now the pattern is, is on the other foot and the other leg. And the reason for that is in the ballroom dancing, there is a sequence to it, there's a logic to it. It isn't just random. Think of it like this. If you can draw a rectangle, right? And on the rectangle, you've got uh, what we call a line of dance that goes anti-clockwise, okay? And so that line of dance is continuous across the room. It's always there. 
Okay, so let's, let's put this as a little pattern together. We're gonna do, follow with me now. We're gonna go with the left foot. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay, now let's do it again. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now, I wanna start on my right foot, so I'm gonna do half a box waltz. One, two, three. And with my right foot free, instead of going back, I will now go forward. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now, I've got my right foot forward, uh, free. I'll do another box. One, two, three. One, two, three. Now, what do I need to do to go back to the beginning? I'll do the backward half of the box that I originally cut out. One, two, three. And now because I'm here, I can start it all again. Two boxes, all right? And then at the end of the second one, what do you do? Half a box, half a box, boom, boom. Now I can do my right foot box waltz. You see this? This is important to understand left and right turns. We haven't turned yet, but this is the idea. And then I can go half a box waltz again, and I'm back to the beginning, okay? Now that was not dance with musicality, that was just a rough pattern, okay? So, can you see? That is a wonderful structure if you're just starting out or you want to improve your technique. Okay, let's see that to music, shall we? Ready? Right, now we're going to add in turns. Okay, so here's what I always recommend to people who are first learning to dance. Here's the order. Get the pattern, get the footwork, get the timing. Once you understand that, in terms of this, the turns start to become easier because of that weight change. You see, here's one of the tips. I want you to stand on your right foot for a moment, okay? Stand on your right foot, right? Your balance is, you're holding your posture properly. Now, if you want to move forward, that's the free leg. The way we create a turn in ballroom dancing is because of what we do from the leg that we're standing on, okay? And so if I use my knee and I flex it, I can also create a turn. But one of the problems when you, you see, this is, that's more advanced, but one of the problems becomes that when you go to turn is that your foot can go the wrong way. So you still want to create a forward movement. But if you see me create a turn very strongly on the first step, it's because that standing leg has done more work. I'm still going forward because I've actually shifted my weight that way, you see? So 
That's how we create really beautiful turns at a much higher level. So what you start off with when you want to turn your basic box waltz is this. So the very first step, remember we've got two box waltzes, right? The very first step, you're still going to go forward, but I want you to focus on now taking a sideways step. You see that? And then you close up and lower. You've done a quarter of a turn. Now go back on the right foot, straight back again, turn the toe in a little bit, point to the side on a toe and then close. So your first box waltz has done half a turn, another quarter. Repeat that again. So you go forward, then you go sideways, close and lower. And then you go backwards, sideways, close and lower. You'll notice you move a little bit bigger, but you see how important it is to still close? You see how important it is to still use your footwork, right? So that's our goal, is we want to create that turn by going forward, then sideways, then close and lower. And at a higher level of dance, we can create a change of our forward action from going there to going anywhere we want. I could take my forward movement that way if I use my standing leg correctly, yeah? Because I'm still taking my center and my body to this alignment. And that's how we develop our dancing from this type of level to the much higher level which we call swing. Metronomic swing, pendulum swing. This is the idea of ballroom dancing, it's a constant movement. That's why it looks so beautiful and never ending is because of this idea. But where does it start? Footwork, pattern, understanding your timing, knowing your footwork, right? 100%. Okay, so with that being said, when we want to go into our, our turn, let's do it again, and we'll go one, then side, close and lower. Back, side, close and lower. So turn, two, three, and turn, two, three. On the half box we do, it's actually called a change step. This change step literally changes our feet we don't do any turn on that. That's the one you shouldn't try and turn on today. Now, when your right foot's free, you now do it the other way. You go forward on the right foot, forward on one, side on two, close on three. Get your feet totally together. Don't look down as best you can. Try to go by feeling. Then go back on the left foot. Turn the toe in, side, close and lower. Half a turn again. Last bit, forward half and the backward half, and I'm back to where I began. So if I repeat that again, so I go forward, side, close, back, side, together. Forward, side, close, back, side, together. Now at the end of that, I take my backward change step, back, two, three, to start again. So remember, when I'm turning, I'm gonna do it at the end of my forward driving action. That's where we get to turn very strongly from nothing into turn. And then eventually we can make more turn and you can see the idea here uh, when I demonstrate it for you, okay? So, I hope you're enjoying this. It's a lot of technique, but I'm trying to build you up in layers to get you, you know, it's so easy to find high level dancing on the internet, but you've got no idea what they're doing. And you're seeing 20 years of daily training coming out in a minute and a half and you're like, oh, that looks easy. It is not, right? But it, also, it is all built on a foundation and this is the foundation. So what is the foundation? The footwork, the timing, the posture, the way we use our feet, understanding these basic movements. If you're an advanced dancer, you can see the way that I was, the, the, the explanation, the basic explanation of using my legs to create the same box waltz, but with far more, you know, turn. Like, I mean, look, a box waltz, realistically, you, you know, you can make that thing move. You can go one, two, three, one, and, you know, hit the wall, right? That's it, get out of my way. I need a bigger house, this is ridiculous. I need a bigger space, you can't hold me. But the turns in waltz are typically like this, reverse turn, natural turn, and we do about three eighths of a turn on each. And, and what that means is between the feet, that's a bit more advanced down the track, but fundamentally we do create quite a substantial amount of turn. And then we can really overturn things depending on what we need, and we can underturn things. And that's how we create different choreography down the track. But this box waltz is plenty if you just want a social dance. If you want to do a wedding dance, it's super simple. This will look nice, right? You just need three beats to a bar. You can't do it to a four by four or four four measure of music, okay? So you've got to be able to count to three, and typically a slow waltz is the best. Now I'm going to give you some music to practice this to. And there's always more layers that I can add for you. One of the things you're going to need to know about is posture. So there's a video on my channel here talking about posture and ballroom dancing, okay? It's a, it's a sort of separate lesson, if you will, because it's otherwise too much information. But one of the main things to do is when you do this is hold your waist braced, okay? Don't flex your abs, but just brace your waist. Have your arms up like this for the man. And if you're the lady, you have a curve to the left through your head and your right arm is up, your left hand is on the man. So as you dance, ladies, you dance like that, right? One, two, 
through that left curve the whole time. All right, so no matter what type of turn you do, you keep that left curve the whole time. All right. If you have a partner, do this with them as a warm up. It's a fantastic way to practice connection and dancing in your frame, which is how we hold each other in ballroom dancing. Okay, hope you love the video. Please like and subscribe and share it with your friends. Leave me any comments or questions below. I look forward to seeing you in the next lesson where we master the art of ballroom Latin dancing. This is Vaughn, over now.